Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I'm a targeted individual. Uh, quick video I wanted to mention here. I went by the church people in the street and the church people gave us soup. I don't know if you can see in the soup. There's all these little tiny swirly half-rounded things that I've never seen before. They look sort of, I don't know what to call them. They look sort of like little round worms or something. I don't fucking know. Um, I have to assume that it's part of a plant. However, uh, I have seen um, whoever, whatever, poison uh, not only food, but uh, um, abandoned buildings where people would stay. Uh, you know, with, I got very sick investigating a building one time. I went in there uh, and I came out and, and I was so sick, my bones hurt, and I was peeing brown sludge for two days. Uh, you know, this is the kind of crap they put around in abandoned buildings around here to kill off the homeless and the poor. I'm telling you, it's a fact. Um, well, at least in my humble opinion. So whenever people are nice to me and give me food or church or whatever, I'm always afraid to fucking eat it. Because during our hardcore torture phase, the more gallons and stuff, they put stuff in all the food. They put in the air, the water, the food. We had stuff jumping into our food, jumping out of our food. We'd go to a restaurant or a store and there'd be like special instructions and they'd give us food that was wiggling around and... I mean, literally, I, I called, I used to call to order the, the hamburger or whatever. And so they were from a payphone, so they wouldn't know it was me. And then when I go in to pick up the burger one time, there's a big big screen TV and the, the, the cook is watching it and it says a grave error de elementos and something else in Spanish and he's looking at it and he takes the burger off the grill throws it away reaches into the, the thing and gets another one a special one out of a little special box and puts it on the grill for for me and we saw this behavior over and over one guy we used to buy sandwiches from all the time and he said to the worker Give them a good sandwich this time. You know, give them a regular, normal one. So, you know, they were always playing with the food. And if they didn't actually play with the food, they played with our minds. You know, they tried to make me believe that food had no nutrition. Uh, that, you know, they did these, this whole thing in Whole Foods where there was like 10 or 15 people in a row with baskets taking food out of their baskets and putting it on the shelf and taking stuff off the shelf and putting it on in like this crazy thing to make me think they were messing with all the food. The weirdest thing though was I had these granola bar things in my hand, a cliff bar or whatever, you know, um, that I had reached and grabbed out of the bottom of the pile, ripped open a box thinking, oh, they can't get this one yet. And I'm in the line and somebody says, hey, you got this covered? And he says, don't worry, by the time he gets to the cash register, we will have dealt with it. And somebody walks by and like taps the, the, the cliff bars that I'm holding in my hand with something and and I'm holding them and and I feel it go inside the package and it gets hard as a rock and I'm squeezing I'm like what the fuck is going on and then it made all this noise and it got soft again and I was like what just happened you know I ate it anyway but this was a common thread with them, is to make us believe that food was no good and to put all kinds of crazy stuff in the food and food that was crawling and jumping and stuff jumping into it. So whenever somebody gives me something to eat, I'm always wondering, what are those little squiggly things that look like bugs? You know, I've eaten so many bugs in my life. Anyway, just letting you know that the, the post-traumatic stress reaction that once you mess up somebody's perception of something, it may never go back. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. I pray this will end. But if it doesn't, maybe we'll meet in heaven. Thanks.